All right, in this video, I'm going to be talking about assembling these Bosch style connectors, which I believe are called AMP Tyco. Um, there's different versions of them. I've, I've heard Junior Power Timer, uh, EV ones are kind of used for the two pin injector style, kind of synonymously with the uh, AMP Tyco style, but they're all characterized by, um, maybe kind of see it better there. You'll see these on a lot of uh, European cars from, I don't know, the 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. <coughs> Sorry. Well, anyway, um, what I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm building a, a TPS connector. This is for my Porsche 944 Turbo. I've got the TPS mounted here. This is a six pin and you'll see them uh, sold and referred to as six way or likewise if it was, uh, you know, a four pin, a four way. That's just uh, how Bosch describes them. But uh, what came in the pack, so I, I had to actually get this from the UK. I couldn't find any domestic dealers. I'm, I'm here in the US, but uh, it comes with a, a boot, which I see missing from a lot of kits. That's why I opted for this one from the UK, because it was, it was complete. Um, obviously, this would engage over the, the back of this connector when, when you're ready to do that. And then there's a bunch of these pins and, and little uh, weather seals. So these are a double crimp connector. Sorry if... Um, not showing it super well. I think my camera's on this side of the phone. Anyway, um, you can see there's there's one row of uh, crimp tabs there that goes around the wire. Those are the smaller ones, kind of closer to the center. And then on the far left side, you can see these longer crimp tabs, and those are going to engage, as you probably could figure out, around this little weather seal. Um, this is purely just to keep water and, and other crap out of the uh, connector so you don't get just ingress over the years. So anyway, um, the reason I'm making this video is because I got this in the in the mail and there's some instructions online for similar connectors, but I, I thought it would be easier just to share this and pass it forward. So um, for me, the, the important thing is, I mean, we know, we just talked about obviously like the, the crimping here, which one goes to what, but how to do that without screwing it up. So a few years ago, when I installed a standalone in my uh, my 83 944, I bought a kit that was like this. I can't remember if it was a weather pack or a, a Tyco amp, whatever, Bosch connector. But I, I used Neo nose pliers or something because I, I didn't want to spend money on a uh, proper crimper that was designed for that connector. But um, I found a way to do it using just hardware store crimpers. Let me move this out of the way. So these are actually a little bit more than just hardware store crimpers, but um, these are a ratcheting type. You don't have to have a ratcheting type. This is just what I have, and they have interchangeable jaws, so I can slide these out. Um, there's there's four or five more down here that I can, I can put in. I'm not going to go through all the different ones, because I just want to talk about the ones that you should be looking for when you're looking at crimpers, and make sure that you get one that's at least kind of close to this. So uh, right here on the pack, go from left to right. So on the left, those are just for your uh, insulated crimps, like the, you know, the ones that you see everywhere. Actually on, on this, I believe it tells us. So those are a type A, it has the A embossed on it. And that says uh, A is insulated terminals. So those are just like the butt connectors that have the color coded sheets on them. Um, and then B looks like it might be a good fit, right? Like this one, uh, is this B? No, sorry, this is D. They're not in order. But the next one going from, like I said, left to right, um, D looks like it's promising because it's relatively small. That might be good for these smaller gauge wires. However, look at it from this angle. Way too wide. Um, we would just be smashing the hole. We'd just be, yeah overcooking it um there's no looking at you know the size of of this guy in comparison it's just it needs to be a thinner die so we come to b which is this one here um and this one is thinner look at it from this angle it's you know maybe three or four millimeters but the problem is the profile of it is not really what we're looking for it's kind of a c-shaped uh, it might be better for kind of like a, a butt connector or some other kind of lug terminal. And H over here, um, it looks like it's a good good profile, but again, the same thing, it's too thick. However, when we look inside of it, we can see it's stepped as if 
it's intended for two different sizes to be crimped at once, and that is what we're looking for. Um, I'm not gonna even talk about this one. This one is obviously not correct. But the one actually that's been in my hand the whole time is the C set, which is similar to H, but the sizes are a little bit different. So let me let me show this to you here. This is what you're gonna wanna look for. Okay, let me put this down. So on this one, again, um, those two kind of double arches at the top where it folds the crimps in on itself, it's wide, but it's stepped. See that? So um, one, the, the part of the, the crimp that catches the weather seal is going to be on the bigger side, and then the smaller crimp that catches the actual stripped wire is going to be on the smaller side. So now it's a simple matter of we're going to find which of these positions is the, the best fit and then do it. I've already done one, so I, I do know that this works. Otherwise, you know, I would never be uploading this video, but you can see there, um, I just did the first pin and uh, it came out really nicely. Um, it's it's nice and solid. There's the, the weather seal right there on the back. Uh, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna just do one live for you. Let's see, I think we're gonna do this one next. So you're also gonna need strippers, but pretty basic thing to have. Just go ahead and, and I'm gonna remove just maybe about that much. It doesn't need to be a, a whole lot. It's just, uh, you know, I'm gonna twist it up like that just to give it a little bit of rigidity because you're gonna push it through one of these weather seals. Now, remembering that the, uh, the crimp is gonna engage on the smaller little diameter, so uh, you need to make sure that that's pointing toward the uh, stripped end of the wire. So I'm just gonna slide it on. That's why we twisted the wire so it wouldn't birdcage it as we did that. Um, so now that's on there like that. Let's uh, do a little bit of a test fit. So here's our, our crimp tab. And I apologize guys if the lighting isn't really working out, but I'm just gonna do a little bit of a stack up. So when I have that like that, I can see that I need to actually push this weather seal up more. Just like that. Perfect. So that's ready to crimp. You can see the strip part is just inside the crimp tabs. Um, the weather seal is over um, a part of the wire that has not had the insulation stripped, so it has a better contact, and it's lined up perfectly with those uh, with those little crimp tabs right there. So what I like to do is just kind of just using my fingers, barely just kind of preload preload those around the the weather seal just so that it doesn't fall out so easily so now I can handle it and, and put it in the jaws and all. Let's go ahead and uh, fit up the jaws here. So this is a really really good uh, crimper if you guys need a reference for one. Astro 9477. I've been using this for years just to, I mean, some of the best money I ever spent on wiring tools. So anyway, um, Let's go ahead and look at the die sizes. So I'm gonna eyeball this and say that uh, the leftmost one, I think that's what I used on the first connector. It was a little bit on the small side. It did kind of squeeze the the connector a little bit more, but it did it did a really solid job. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and try the second one now. So sorry if this is a little bit awkward to do on camera. What I'm actually gonna do is remove the upper jaw and uh, and just kind of do it like this so you can see. So your instinct might be to put it in like that, right? So you you can kind of see that it's a, whoops. No, no, that's right, like that. But in reality, it would actually need to go in like this because you want, as this crimper tool goes down, you're gonna want it to, uh, these arches are gonna kind of scoop the tabs together, kind of like and cinch them up, if that makes any sense, so. Just watch out for that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and try the middle one. If this is a failure, well, that's the point of this video is so we can, we can learn together. So there we go. Um, I'm just gonna carefully put this in the tool. All right, and then send it. Just kinda make sure that everything is slid in and then that's it. Crimpy crimp crimp. So it's a little bit banana shaped now, so I'm just gonna 
just bend it, bend it back because it's not, not a big deal. So now it's straight again. Let's look at the quality that we got. Sorry if this isn't focusing, guys. Um, you can see the tabs over the stripped wire there. They're, they're clearly compressed onto the wire. And you can see the tabs also on the, uh, on the weather seal there. They're folded over and they're basically touching in the center. So that's exactly what we're looking for. And I'm just gonna give it a quick tug. And that is, that is ready, to, ready to go. So um, putting it in the, in the sensor. So I thought that on some sensors, you, you start from this side and you kind of you know, go that way. But on, on this style, it's obvious that you're not fitting this, this whole like seal through that hole. So it does go in through the back. Pin orientation is key. So um, I don't want to move the phone so it's going to fall off the little thing I have supporting it. But on my connector, the pins are angled this way as opposed to that way, like 90 degrees. So um, the pins are going kind of left to right. So looking in here, you can see how this one is, is going left to right as opposed to up and down. Like uh, up and down would be the one in my hand and that would be left to right. Oops, like that, and like that, right? So um, we're just gonna make sure that, don't screw that up. So right in from the back, make sure it's lined up. Yeah, it's lined up and then listen for a click. And that's it. Look in the back there, um, our weather seal is at the correct depth, it matches the other one. Sure enough, boom. That's all there is to it. Um, again, you don't need to spend a lot of money on a, uh, a specific crimping tool. Just get one that uh, that's the right size and the right profile and you'll be okay. That was a, uh, a great crimp and that's all. Cheers.